All right, what's up guys? It's been a while since we posted a video. We've been working just crazy hours at our normal job. Today we're gonna do a coil on plug conversion to my car. So your 96 or 98 has a dual coil pack with spark plug wires. Uh, I was able to find a harness on the internet uh, to convert it over to coil on plug. So we're gonna see how that goes. I'm gonna throw it on today. All right, so this is pretty much everything the kit consists of, but it's got plugs that you just plug it into your, your stock coal pack harnesses on each side. Uh, you got eight. These are just factory Ford coal packs, and then you have a bracket right there for the power steering reservoir because on the 96 or 98, it has a big aluminum bracket that has the coal pack mount built onto it. Uh, the only other thing I'm gonna look for is I think I have one laying around uh, either at Jeremy's house or somewhere in my garage. Uh, the upper for the alternator bracket to intake is a little bit different. You don't have the spark plug hold downs on a on a PI style motor so I'm gonna look for one of those and switch that out. Alright we're gonna start tearing this thing apart and start doing the coil on plug conversion. Look at how much cleaner it is right now without the spark plug wires running everywhere. So I'm going to yank the coil packs off and uh, then I'll start installing the new coil packs and run the harness. Alright, well I'm about to throw all the coil packs in. The two coil packs are out of the way. There's so much more room opened up without the spark plug wires everywhere. So I'm going to drop the coil packs in, run the harness, and then I'm going to probably test it to see if the car will crank. And if it does, then I'll remove that power steering bracket. I don't want to go through all that trouble if the harness don't work. Alright, I got this whole side in. Uh, it was kind of a nightmare to clear the fuel rail. But uh, it all bolted up. I had to loosen the fuel rail a little bit and pull up on it. But it's all plugged in and man that's so much nicer without the spark plug wires. So I'm going to move on to this side right here. And uh, then we'll be done. Alright we got both sides done. All the coil packs and the harness is laid down. I still haven't changed the power steering bracket. Uh, I'm going to try to crank it up make sure everything's working good and we don't have like misfires or nothing. But look how much nicer that looks. No coil packs or spark plug wires. Alright, I got the power steering reservoir bracket off the motor. Uh, here's the difference. This one has the, you know, the coil pack mounting. And this is the PI style one with thin piece of metal instead of this big chunk of aluminum. Alright, so we got it all complete. Got the bracket put on. And uh, we're about to crank it up, back it out of the garage and make sure everything's good. So we got a pretty good cold start. Let's see how she runs. There's no idle air control, so on a cold start, it has nothing to catch idle. 
but after it warms up just a little bit, it, it, uh, it idles fine. So we're all done. We went and drove it. Everything's good here. So it's pretty straightforward to get rid of your, you know, your cool packs to go cool unplugged for a 96 or 98. I don't know where to get the harness from. I know a guy uh, on some forums was making the harnesses back in the day and then it kind of went away while well, I ran across this one. And I was like, man, I got to have that because it just, it just cleans everything up in the engine bay. So uh, I jumped on it. The guy had the harnesses, the bracket, and the coil packs all as like a little package deal. Uh, I'm not sure where to get this at anymore, but if you do run across one, they're straightforward and it runs perfect with it. But uh, this is going to be the end of this video. So thanks for watching.